I'm Steve from Statistics Fix and in this video today I have bought something else faulty off eBay uh, and I'm going to try my best to uh, to fix it. Now I think I know what this is um, from the shape of it. So I'm just going to crack it open and then I'll show you the eBay listing and you can see what I paid for it. So we have aha uh -huh. These are Beats by Dr. Dre headphones. Now, as far as I know, these are made by Monster, which I like Monster stuff. I used to have the cables. Um, I, I used to use them quite a lot. You know, they, they made some good SCART cables. That's that's how old I am. Um, and AV cables and. Uh, and stuff like that. I think they actually made some aftermarket Wii component cables and things like that as well. They were really good. So I've never, I've never owned any Beats stuff. I don't, I'm not that into the Dr. Dre element. I mean, I like Dr. Dre. Don't get me, don't get me wrong. But uh, the, I, I don't know what he's got to do with with making headphones other than his name. Uh, now apparently these are faulty. So I'll just show you the listing. So here's the listing. So, uh, as you can see, I paid six pound fifty for them in an auction. Um, described as Beats wired headphones with mic faulty. There's a few pictures. Don't really give much away. Uh, description says Beats wired headphones faulty. Condition is for parts not working. Only fault is at their headphone jack. If you know what you're doing, it is easily fixable. As I always say, I don't know what I'm doing, but maybe it's easily fixable. Otherwise, the headphones are in great condition. And then it's just all the other blurb, which I presume is uh, for any any of the headphones that are on here. Um, so he's right, they, they do look in good condition. I mean, I don't know if £6.50 is a good price. I, I seem to remember these being quite expensive, but I don't know how old these are. So he's saying the fault is with the headphone jack. Can you see that? I don't know whether that comes across on the camera, but it's uh, sort of banana shaped. Pretty sure it's not supposed to be banana shaped. Uh, maybe it's been in, uh, you know, it's been dropped. It's been in, in something that's been dropped and it's sort of bent and been been taken out of shape so I'll uh, what I'll do is I'll just plug them in first and just see if we can get any sound out of them and then I'll uh, I'll have a good look at this and see if I can fix it easily enough right so I've just plugged them in to my phone here they, they've, they've plugged in fine they seem okay um, so let's just play some music through well I can hear it Do you know what? They sound really good, but they are, it is only coming out of one side. Um, do you want, what does that do? Is that the mic? Oh, is that the microphone? Oh, I mean, I, oh. Oh, well, that's clever. <laughs> you can tell I've never owned anything like this before. So you can play. Right, okay. I'm just going to uh, wiggle these around and see if I can get... Okay, so wiggling it around does make it come out of one ear or the other. So I... yeah. I'm pretty sure these have just been dropped with... Um, and it's just bent this out of shape. Now, is this going to be easy to... is it going to be easy to replace? Or can I just repair it? I'm gonna have a close look at it and see see what I can see what I can do. I think you can see how banana y they are there. Okay, so what I'm gonna try and do is I'm just gonna try and um, try and grip these with the pliers and then I've got this exacto knife and I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and cut this open. Because I'm not too worried about it. I can always, you know, put some heat shrink over the top and uh, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to do this. 
but it's worth a try. Do you know what? These pliers aren't good enough. I'm just going to switch them out. And these ones are a little bit more heavy duty. I've scored along there, I'm just going to try and see if I can get this underneath, ah there we go. Is that going to come off? Yeah, great deal wrong with this to be honest. It's just still have that strange banana shape. I don't I don't know. Um expected to see something loose but admittedly I can't really see all the wires yet. I think I might have to go further into this. Okay, so I've um, I've stripped back as much of this plastic as as I can, just to try and expose these um, these solder joints here. So from what little I know of the headphone jack, I think the tip here deals with the left channel. Now that one was working okay. The second ring here deals with the right channel. This one wasn't working, or it was intermittent certainly. Uh, this. This ring deals with ground, and this ring here deals with the microphone. So we've got the four solder joints here. We've got this one, and then we've got this one here, this one here, and you can just make out this one here. So I think it works on like a cylinder basis. So this one goes all the way up to the tip. This one here will go to this one, this one to this one, and this one to this one. So I'm just going to check that with um, with the multimeter. Right, so I'm going to check the continuity on this one here. It should be here. Yes, it is. This one here should be the second ring. Yes, it is. This one here should be the third. Nope, and that's the one that wasn't working. That's the right channel. And then this one at the bottom here should be the tip. And it is. So, this one, the right channel, just try going straight into the cylinder. Now does that, now does that mean, so if I go on the cylinder here, rather than on the solder, if you know what I mean. I think that means that there's a break in the cylinder, yeah, because there's no, there's no continuity there, so the wire is actually soldered on correctly. But because this has been bent, I think we've got a break inside it. I think rather than um, <clears throat> rather than trying to repair this, I don't think that I can repair inside inside this. I think it's going to need a replacement. So I'm just going to go and hunt around. I'm pretty sure I've got some old uh, headphones from a from an old smartphone that that will that will have the same jack on the end. So I'm just going to go and see what I can find. And then we'll, um, you know, try and swap the the jack over. Okay, so I found these, which are off. Um, I think they're off an old Samsung phone. I'm not entirely sure, but I never use these things because I just don't think they're very good, to be honest. And it has got the correct jack on the end, so I'm going to remove this jack. In fact, probably the easiest way to do this is I'm going to snip it, sort of here. Uh, expose the four wires 
and then correspond the four wires to the to the cable from the from the Beats headphones um, and just solder them solder them together. It's got to be the easiest way. wire and I've separated that out into the four, the four different strands. So what I'm going to do is just cut the, uh, the original wire, the faulty wire, uh, I'll cut them out here and I'm hoping, I mean I don't expect them to be the same colour but I should be able to work out which is which. Obviously this is a flat cable and the other one is round but when I put some insulation over it it won't really make that much difference. Right, so I've stripped these wires right back. This is the um, the plug off the old um, smartphone headphones that I found. So I've separated out into the four strands and I think I've worked out which is which. So we've got all this together here is the ground. The green wire here is the left audio, the red wire here is the right audio, and then this sort of dark, I don't even know, is it black, black and silver coloured wire is the microphone. And then I've also done the same with, with the Beats headphones, and there was actually a lot of wires coming out of this, but a lot of them were, were just uh, sort of reinforcing strands, so I've cut those off. So we've got a red here which is the right, green which is left, and then this red and green twisted one is the microphone and then this is the ground. So what I'm going to try to do, I've got my clamp here. I'm actually thinking if I on this one, if I cut these at four different lengths, because what I don't want is obviously if I'm going to solder these, I don't want the solder to be touching each other. If I can cut them at four different lengths, so I, this is the, the longest and we have that one as the shortest. This wire is actually insulated, so it would only be the ends of it uh, that would be making the connection. The rest of it is, is, is very, very fine insulation. So I'm thinking that will work. Uh, and then we won't have a big sort of lump as well at the end of the, the end of the wire. So the first thing I'm going to do is just slide on some um, heat shrink tubing so that I can cover all this up. Unfortunately I don't have any blue so I'm going to have to go with black. That's not the end of the world. So I'm just going to cut these wires back. I'm going to cut the ground one, the shortest. Next, then I'm going to do the left channel next, and I'll leave the right channel as it is. So hopefully, we've got four different lengths there. I'm just going to try and tin the ends of each of these, and it's going to be quite fiddly. Just done the same with the with the wire from the Beats headphones. So I've cut them all at different lengths. So I'm hoping that I can. I mean, yeah, I don't know whether this is going to work, but it's worth a try. I'm just going to tin these ones up. Right, 
Alright, that wasn't easy. I'm just hoping these stay together now. I think they're okay. Right, so just plug this in now. Uh, I'm just going to test it. It's definitely sound. Sound from both ears. Let's check the microphone. So before when I was pressing this it would play, pause, yep. Yeah. That seems to be working fine to me. Right, so I'm going to try and um, just heat shrink this insulation around this and hope that it's strong enough to hold it. Um, I might double up on this. Right, it's all nice and solid this now. I've just added this blue band around the top just to give it a little bit of, I don't know, <laughs> try and make it look a bit, a bit prettier. It's not the prettiest thing, but it is, it is solid. Um, so I'm just going to just give that a final test now, and before I start celebrating, just make sure that it all, it all works. Can hear sound. Test the microphone. Yep. Excellent. Right, I'm really happy with that. I am the one and only. Um, right, so that's about it for this video. What a nice little fix. Um, there it is, it's in all its glory. I'm quite happy with that. I mean, it's not it's not the prettiest. I'm not talking about Chesney. I'm talking about the the plug, but it works. It works perfectly. So I'll take it for six quid, whatever it was. Yeah, I'm happy. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe for more. Can I fix it and how to videos? Thank you. Chesney out. Thank you.